What should you expect when the narcissist loses control over you? Well, there are three specific tricks the narcissist will absolutely try once they realize controlling you is not gonna happen. And that is what I'm covering today and so much more. You ready? Let's do it. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Tammy M. Joyce. I'm the founder of Tammy M. Coaching and I run a powerful eight week transformational coaching program called The Freedom Class, specific to healing and recovery from codependency and narcissistic abuse. If that's of interest to you, be sure to stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can learn more about my programs. So let's talk about what to expect when the narcissist loses control over you. To begin with, the very first thing you'll notice is the narcissist is gonna play dumb. Once they realize they can't have their way with you, you may actually be onto them. It's quite possible you figured them out. You've seen behind the mask and you're not so easily duped. The very first thing that will happen is they'll play dumb. They'll act like they have no ever love an idea what they've done to upset you or what exactly it is that has caused you any discomfort. They'll pretend that they can't for the life of them understand why you would question their sincerity and their motives. The reality of the situation or the very real impact their disturbing attitude, behavior, and choices have had on you completely escapes them, according to them. And from there, they'll go on to find a way to play victim, which is the second trick they'll try. The moment the narcissist realizes that they no longer have control over you or your perception of them, your perception of reality, in other words, you're no longer buying what they're selling, suddenly they'll be the one who has been wronged by you. No matter how poorly they themselves have behaved, they'll claim to be completely innocent and of course, misunderstood. When it's clear that you see them as they really are, as opposed to the false persona they work so hard to promote themselves as being, and it'll often sound something like this. No, that's not what I said. No, that's not what I did. That's not what happened. I have no idea why you're so upset. You've misunderstood. And of course, you're just too sensitive. You've got it all wrong. You've got them all wrong. In the hopes of appealing to your empathetic and compassionate nature and generating sympathy from you, as well as others, the narcissist will twist, spin, and distort the facts according to their very selective memory until you look and sound like the devil incarnate. And as my grandmother used to say, they come up smelling like roses. Pure as the driven snow ever so innocent and blameless. No matter what they've done to you, you'll be painted as the absolute villain to their victim all day long to anyone who will listen. True story. And the third thing, the third trick that the narcissist will try once they are forced to come to terms with the fact that controlling you is simply not going to fly is they'll attempt to control and manipulate others' perception of you. When the narcissist can no longer control you, they'll work over time to control how others see you, what they think of you, and how they feel about you. This, of course, will be done covertly behind your back, narcissists being the toxic little cowards that they are. But make no mistake, they will go out of their way to poison the hearts and minds of others towards you including children, adolescents, and young adults, anyone they have any influence over. In fact, truth be told, they've probably already been working overtime to create loyalty conflicts with those they can easily influence. So don't be surprised when the kids you've been nothing but kind to start behaving poorly towards you, even passively for no other reason than they've heard so much toxic gossip that they've quite literally been brainwashed to believe that it's okay, appropriate, called for even, to look down their nose at you. Neither should you be surprised when the adults in the narcissist toxic little entourage look at you sideways with unprovoked and unwarranted contempt and disdain, if not pure hostility. 
You can be sure the narcissist has been in their ear with all manner of nonsense. Now, comment below and tell me whether or not you've ever experienced any of these tactics, these three specific tricks. And if so, how'd you handle it? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in one of my coaching programs, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Now, something else narcissists do when they realize they can't control you is gaslighting. That's right, they gaslight all day long. And if you're not sure what I mean by gaslighting, you can watch this video here and this video here. But suffice to say, gaslighting is how the narcissist works to cause you to doubt yourself, your feelings, your experience, as well as your perception of reality. It's a form of emotional and psychological abuse, and it only works if you let it. When the narcissist realizes they can no longer control you or your perception of them and playing dumb and casting themselves as the victim hasn't had the desired effect, they're going to double down on their efforts by attempting to gaslight. And it'll sound like this. No, I never said that. We never agreed to that. That's not what happened. And of course, you've misunderstood. Again. Fundamental message being, you're the issue, always and forever. And they, as I said, are pure as the driven snow. And you'll know in your gut that you're being gaslit. You'll feel it literally in your body, not only because you're not an idiot and you know what you live, you know what you heard, you know exactly what they did and what they did not do, what they said and did not say, Something else you're going to notice when the narcissist realizes they can't control you is what I call confession through projection. That's right. In spite of the insanity of their own behavior and their toxic and abusive ways, you'll become the big bad villain to their victim, no matter how much they have to lie and deny to make it so. Suddenly you're the fake, the fraud, the bully, the narcissist, the liar, the manipulator, the cheat. Another thing you'll see when the narcissist realizes they aren't going to be able to manipulate you, dominate you, or control you is absolute rageful retaliation. That's right. Once the narcissist knows they have zero control over you, your perception of reality, not least, like I said, your perception of them. In other words, you can't be fooled anymore, if at all they are going to go for maximum damage. And be forewarned, they will create as much chaos as possible. They'll cause as much pain, drama, trauma, and devastation as they possibly can on their way out. After all, it's all they have in terms of power. Given that they are fundamentally powerless over you and now they know it. So they're gonna lash out in whatever way they think they can get away with. Narcissists rarely exit a relationship, any relationship, quietly, especially if they're not the ones closing the door on the relationship. And based on both personal and professional experience, I can tell you that the reason for this is, in their mind, by taking it to the next level, they now get to blame you for the dramatic fallout and how badly things ended. They'll be sure to turn up the volume to maximum intensity, spewing all manner of abuse and insanity, and then tell, again, anyone who will listen just how terrible you are. After all, you have a lot of nerve seeing them for who they actually are. You have a lot of nerve seeing their behavior for what it actually is. How dare you? Don't you know who the narcissist thinks they are? The nerve of you for having healthy and reasonable standards, limits, and boundaries. The nerve of you for not being willing to stand still in a toxic environment with toxic people, pretending all manner of manipulation, dysfunction, and abuse isn't taking place. Now, finally, once the narcissist is left with no choice but to surrender to the reality that they are not only fully and completely powerless over you, they have zero control or dominion over you, they will be forced to move on to another target. If you stand your ground 
in the face of all of their manipulation and deception, refusing to be swayed by the nonsense, if you remain unmoved in your position, eventually the narcissist will be left with no choice but to move on to another unsuspecting target. They'll have to find someone who is easier to manipulate, dominate, dupe, deceive, and exploit as a source of narcissistic supply. And although admittedly, this is not so good for the new target, it is excellent news for you. You, my friend, will be left in peace. So stand your ground for as long as it takes. Although not easy, I promise you it will be worth it. It's time now. And with that, I'm gonna call it a wrap, but don't stop now. I have well over 300 more videos right here on YouTube for you to watch to help you better understand the detrimental effects of narcissistic abuse, and more importantly, learn what you need to do now to heal from the abuse so you can start living your best life in peace, confidence, freedom, and abundance. And if you want to go deeper with me, go to TammyMCoaching.com and learn about my unique tried and true process garnered over decades of experience and learn how you can become my client.